Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. Today we will make a simple solar emergency light using LED and lithium-ion battery. These are the components used for making the solar emergency light. The additional one is an on off switch that I forgot to add it here. First we will solder a wire in this solar panel and we will check this in sunlight and measure the voltage using multimeter. This solar panel has the capability of delivering maximum 160 milliampere. For testing we are not using a diode in series with the solar panel but while assembling solar emergency light we will connect a diode in series with the solar panel. Today is a sunny day. We can move the switch of the multimeter to DC voltage and we can test the output voltage of the solar panel. You can see it, see, it is showing 6.66 volt and if we are uh, moving the uh, solar panel perpendicular to the sunlight you can see the maximum voltage of 6.79 it is showing. This is an old LED bulb what we will be doing is pull out the diffuser and we will be using the diffuser in our emergency light and in this common pcb we will solder all the leds and will cover this with the diffuser the light will come out evenly through the diffuser we have soldered all the leds in the common pcb and we, we will be using a 22 ohm resistor in series with the led this 22 ohm resistor will act as a current limiter while using a solar panel we must use a diode in series with the solar panel output this is because when we are using the bms the input can be from solar panel or in the absence of sunlight we, we will charge the battery through the micro usb port when micro USB is using then the voltage drop will happen across the solar panel. In order to block that we are using a diode in series with the solar panel. What we are planning is to use two solar panels in parallel so that we will get maximum current while charging. We will glue the solar panels here and then at the opposite side we will fix the LEDs and cover it using the diffuser. Inside the box we will be fixing the BMS here. Mostly we will fix the BMS at the bottom of the box by making a small opening for the micro USB port. And we will be fixing the battery somewhere here and we will fixing the battery by gluing it. If you like our video, please click like button.
If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we upload a new video. Now we will test the connection through micro USB port. The micro USB is connected to a, a power bank. You can see the battery is charging. The red, red LED you can see it. That means the connections are correct. Let's test this in sunlight now. I will slowly move outside. You can see the blue LED is lighting. This is because there is not enough light to charge the battery. You see now red LED is lighting. Now it starts charging but the current is very less that is why the both LEDs are lighting. I have fixed the on off switch here. Now we will connect the LED wire. If you like our video, please click like button.
we will be fixing the solar panel using a double side tape we will be fixing a two layer tape so there will be enough height to the tape and we will be fixing the solar panel on top of the tape so that the diode wire everything will be safe in between this two layer tape We are applying one more layer. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we upload a new video. Now we can go outside and test the charging using sunlight. You can see the red LED through the micro USB port. That means the battery is charging. We will do a brightness test at night. We are pointing the light to the white wall. This is close to the wall. That is why we are feeling that it is having very good brightness. But reality is no. I will move a bit backward and you can see the brightness is very very less. The problem is only with the LED section. The Piranha LED's brightness is very very less. We are planning to replace Piranha LED with this 1 watt LEDs. These LEDs are white in color and also each LED has 1 watt power and good brightness. I think we can make use of 4 LEDs. We will be adding a 10 ohm resistor to each LEDs.
try this at your home. If you like our video, please click like button. If you do not like our video, click dislike button. If you have any idea of packaging this circuit, please comment your idea under this video. The brightness is much 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 better than the other one. You can see the difference. If you have any suggestions, please comment on this video so that we will know that. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click subscribe button. Press the bell icon so that you will get the notification whenever we upload a new video. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.